Welcome to Just a Sliver. Here's a sliver of Turkish bread. For the real-time cooking tutorial, click the banner above now. Not only a staple in Eastern culture, the West has really warmed to Turkish bread. Given half the chance, I will always buy some ekmek. So we start with some plain flour, add in our sugar, our yeast and our salt. We give that a quick stir just to make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the flour. And then we add our warm water. This should be at roughly 40 degrees Celsius. Mix that to form a loose dough, just as long as there's not too much loose flour floating around. And the reason why we use warm water is to activate the yeast. Be sure it's not too hot, otherwise you'll kill the yeast. Then we sprinkle some flour over your workbench, ready to dump out the dough and start kneading. I'll fast track the look of the dough at different stages now. You'll see that it's quite sticky and it's quite loose. At this stage, you will want to flour every now and then, just to make sure that you're not wearing most of the dough on your fingers. This is about three minutes in. You can already see some drastic changes in the look and the feel of the dough. This is another three minutes on, so a total of roughly six minutes. You can see it's becoming much smoother. Okay, I'm happy with this. This is about 10 to 12 minutes of kneading. Just putting it into a little bowl there, you can just see how smooth the exterior of that dough is. Using half of the olive oil that you measured out, lightly oil the inside of the mixing bowl that you used before. Doesn't matter that there's a few little dry bits in there and pop in your dough ball. Rub the remaining olive oil over the top and cover with a damp tea towel. Bring it back after roughly an hour, hour and a half or at least doubled in size. Quickly mix in the bowl to gather any of the olive oil and onto the bench for roughly three minutes of kneading and cut down the middle with your bench scraper. Form into a log and then you're going to stretch and push it out to the ekmek shape we all know and love. Lightly sprinkle some semolina on a baking tray. Place the dough on the baking tray and we're going to prove that for 10 minutes. With your fingertips, make a series of channels and a light milk wash. Then sprinkle on some sesame and nigella seeds. Sprinkle some semolina on the baking trays that have been in the oven, getting hot at 200 degrees Celsius. Then put your dough on the semolina and that's in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Your house will be smelling absolutely divine at this point. Thanks for joining me for just a sliver of Turkish bread. Don't forget to check out the rest of what Sliver and Bite has to offer right here on YouTube. See you soon.